Hello everyone. This will be the updated review of the Galaxy S Player 4.0 and also my complaints, quorums, quarrels with the device and uh, certain things here and there also. Now, last off, the well, last time I finished up with the review of the Galaxy S Player 4.0, I did say that I, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed the device, I had no problems with it, I had no complaints with it, which at the time I did not. And now, yes I do. Uh, which is just really very minor, minor things, except for the wireless uh, internet and the wireless problems with the uh, wireless card internally in, in this device. It's uh, I'm gonna have to uh, root it, root it, and use the stock ROM to flot, use the stock ROM to flash it, just for it to work properly. And also, of course, like any good old Samsung uh, Android uh, player or phone, like uh, like the Galaxy S2, or Galaxy S, Galaxy S3, when you do root these devices, and it does unlock the the ability to have a way better headphone jack and way better headphones impedance just about here not having to use uh, a FOE7 or any other application you use so yes when you go online when you do go online here it's a uh, it's rather annoying uh, I I just it, it really is. As you can see, right there, right there when I did that, it goes on for a second, and then it leaves. Like even right now, it will load up the Google Play Store. You can go for the apps, whatever you want. App Focus, whatever, Repo 2.0. This is loading up just the way it should. This fluctuates to different networks. It's currently on my own network, of course. Updates for the S Store. Yeah. I'm not going to demo right now. This is just, it takes too long to uh, replicate the issues in real time in this video. I've been using Power Amp for audio, and it really just opens up your world uh, way better. Audio, way better. This is Pink Floyd Sorrow. Dual stereo speakers. For those who are bass heads, the N7 Kabuto album. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of Mass Effect and just the amazing music that can come out from a, a video game. This is a very heavy song, bass heavy. With power ramp, this these speakers they shine. Completely they shine. The 
this is probably the best video quality on a screen that you're probably ever going to have. Well, I that's what I really do though. I just really watch a lot of massive videos on here. I don't really have a The stock player gives you the option of having a 5.1 sound on it. Uh, the camera on the device itself uh, is uh, it's 3.2 megapixels. It's uh, less to be desired. It, it is really less to, to be desired. Sadly and yeah, unfortunately, it really is. Uh, I mean, compared to the phones themselves. <coughs> the phones themselves, sadly, it really is. I mean, I mean. For example, no flash. It's decent enough for Instagramming and other stuff like that. But it's not really gonna get you any for it, any place really. You don't use this device for serious photography. You use a camera like I'm using and a DSLR if you have the money and desire for it. The device itself, without the case, basically comes into pure white. Purely white here. I have a habit of leaving this on the film. I just do. Like any Samsung device, also. You get this where it will close and open for, for the USB 2.0. USB mini to connect. Sadly, made of cheap crappy plastic which this company continues to use you pay all the money you pay all this money and a, and a 54 dollars for a warranty at best buy to get cheap plastic i i, I mean i just it just it really is insulting sometimes it really is annoying another quorum i have is with the sd card reader and the sd card itself uh, the micro SD when you connect it to me, it's not the SD, it's not the SD, it's the, it's the device. When you connect it to, when you connect this th via the micro USB to your PC. Sometimes, no matter how much you try to mount and mount the SD, uh, systematically through software of itself, on the device, on this device, it will not mount. You have to restart the device just for it to mount. And go through a painstakingly on and off thing when it goes off and goes on. You gotta hold the power down a bit. It's just it's really, really frustrating sometimes. Especially when, I do when you, especially when you want to do things quick on the fly. The battery here, you can see it's a 1200 milliamp battery. If this can ever focus. There you go, 1200 milliamp battery with the application with this application Gold Power Master I usually have this on low mode 
and I, I, I have the settings through sort of way. Anyway, though, I do. I, I can get at least uh, two or three days. Three the most. Very long standby time. Standby time. It's just that one needs to learn how to calibrate the device. That's that's another thing too. Now. <clears throat> One final thing. When you are using a Fio E7 with this, like any good old amplifier plus power amp, you get a huge sound difference. Huge, which is the modern revolution today of USB USB DAX and uh, amplifiers that everyone has been using. I don't know how much people have been using it, but there has been a significant amount. That is my updated review of the Galaxy S Player 4.0. Thank you for watching. Any comments, questions, quarrels, or any other things you would like to talk with me about, please feel free to, to comment on the page. And please feel free to subscribe. Later.